travel with is always diving into the different and new world. Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. And today I'm going to do a review on this little pouch kit that Derek found on Amazon. Almost everything we find is on Amazon because you know we live in the middle of nowhere so we don't go to the store very often. We love shopping online. So he found this great little kit. It's a little pouch kit that has 58 pieces in it. It's from the, let me see my information here. It's from Coupe, C-O-O-P-A-Y on Amazon. Came in this little pouch but all they did was they put our label on it so I'm just going to take it out of this pouch. Oh, this is cute. Okay, it's in a little pouch. Has a handle, which is a bonus. So there's our little pouch with a little handle. And it says travel with... <laughs> travel with is always diving into the different and new world. Oh, that's cute. All right, it says a little emblem on the front. This is a very plasticky, polyester-y, so I think that if it got wet or anything, probably going to be just fine. Zippers. Let's see. Oh, zippers are working nicely. This is going well so far. Didn't get stuck. Two zippers. That's good. This is just a tiny set. I thought this would be bigger. It's 58 pieces, so let's see what's in here. Oh, stuff's falling out. Oh, cute. Itty bitties. Ooh. And it's all in... Oh, good. There is a, there is some information on here. 25 grams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 25 grams. 70 meters. Oh, that's pretty good for this tiny little thing. 70 meters. And it wants me to use a 2 or a 3 hook. So this is tiny yarn. This would be a two or a three weight. It feels more like a three weight. It's very soft, very soft yarn. So we got some basics for practicing. Okay, so far this is fun for a beginner to open this up and you have all kinds of little products in here. Here's our first set of hooks. There's more stuff on this side. <gasps> we gotta go here first. All right, let's see how good these are. Again, these are from the coupe people. From the coupe store. Let's see what we got. Looks like a typical set of ergonomic colorful hooks with the nice rubber grips. Okay, these are good. So far, these so far so good. Let's grab this green one. Alright, has the flat spot, which is huge for me. That's the way that I hold my hook, and if you hold like a pencil, that'll be great too. This is a 5.5 millimeter. It is etched right into the grip, so that is a bonus. And let's just see with my handy dandy measure. This is supposed to be a 5.5 millimeter. Right here. Yay! All right. Let's grab another one randomly. Five millimeter right here. Yay! Grab this tiny one. Two millimeter way over here. So maybe a little bit big. More like a 2.5. But that happens with the little ones sometimes. All right, one more. Six millimeter. Around the corner. Yay! All right, so the tiny one maybe is just a smidge off, but that's not too bad. Don't use the tiny one as much personally, so I'm actually going to be okay with that. 2.0. So this little set right here is very nice, and they're colorful, which is always fun. It's always fun to have some color in your life. I like this. I'm going to put those back in this pouch. We're back in. Let's see what's on the other side. Seems like there was some stuff jumping out at me. All right, let's see what's on this side. Oh, very nice. It's a snipper, it's like a scissors. 
Just use it this way and it has a safety cap on it so you don't have a loose scissors. That's cool. And a little pouch to keep it in. That's this side. Yay! Measuring... Oh, yay! I don't get these very often. Usually I have to buy them separately. Like the ones that I have right here. This Clover one was not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. So that's really fun. So we'll keep this guy out. Oh! Yay! And a set of steel hooks. Okay. These are the really tiny ones. These are for the amigurumi or for lace and itty bitty little things. Holy, holy moly, these are tiny. Let's see if I can find the tiniest one. Usually it's like a 0.6. Here we go. Itsy bitsy. Look how tiny that is. I tell you, I need way better, way stronger glasses to see anything with that tiny hook. But if you're into steel hooks, and you want to make tiny things or tiny toys or work with the work with lace that would be great I'm not even sure if I can measure this one it's so tiny nope I cannot so we're just gonna go with it it is stamped it's raised right into the steel hooks has a flat spot for your thumb and we've got two four six eight ten twelve of the tiny ones that's nice I don't use those teeny ones as much. I don't make as many tiny toys, but I know a lot of people who do. So that's a bonus right there. And a pouch to keep it in. Let's see what's on this side. Got all kinds of little tiny things in here. Finally got those out. They were stuck a little bit. All right, some stitch markers. Yay! There's probably 10 in here. One, two, three, four. Looks like there's 10. Can never have too many stitch markers, so that's fun. And a measuring tape. Yay! Centimeters on one side and inches on the other. Bonus! And it's tiny, so it's going to fit into those little pouches. And these are so cute. They're tiny. These are itty bitty little pom pom makers. They're just tiny. Isn't that cute? Cool. I don't know if I've ever seen a set with those in there. They usually buy those separately and the one I have is way bigger. So those are cute. Going to make itty bitty little pom poms and they give you two of them. That's nice. Very fun. Especially if you're going to make toys. And now I've got a whole bunch of stuff over here. What's this? Oh, I haven't seen one of these in ages. It's a little winding board. Wind up your yarn. Very handy. I don't have one of those. These I usually use with a Tunisian to keep your stitches. Often these come in knitting kits, but they're really big, just big old pins. So you can keep your stitches, especially in a Tunisian, this would be really handy. If you're done working on a project for a while and you don't want to lose your loops, boom. That's how you use those. You put all of your loops along here. Bam. Just like stitch markers, except these are huge. So that's funny. Three of those. When I get those, I usually give them to Gabby because she is a knitter and a crocheter. I am not a knitter. So she gets all my knitting stuff. Oh, again, these are for knitting. And these are for knitting. This is for making cables and things. So yay, Gab's going to get some more, some more little fun stuff. I've never seen these ones before. I've, these are all the time. This is for doing cables. And these are just really fun. Huh. I don't have any of these. If anybody has any of these, tell me exactly how you use them. Because if you, if you can use them in crochet, I'll find a way. But these are um, things that I've seen many times in knitting kits. But they're free, so why not? If you have a knitter in your life, they get a free present. And, oh, you never can have too many needles. Six needles. Three of them have really big eyes. And these little pink ones are much thinner, littler eyes. What a great little kit. This little pouch of all of these goodies, including pom-pom makers and a, and a measuring device. It's a ruler, too. This is awesome. 
$30 for all of this stuff? I say this is a great buy. This would be very giftable. Especially if you have a new crocheter in your life. This is a little bit of everything. 58 pieces. Look at all of that. In a handy dandy little travel case. And you're on your way with a little handle. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.